Or let's get out of the business. Everything that happens in canon does happen. Only thing is, when Zibu does see Bongo get captured by a slipper and scared and all that shit, it's not just the fact that his body moves on its own. It's pretty much him saying, fuck what all my said, I'm going to do what I can. It's very least. And that's what he does. To the point where he actually does better in this. Seeing that Bongo was being suffocated, he already now uses his analytical mind to actually hold his breath and start tearing off of his slug feeling. Though it may not be as easy, he's trying to make it so at least Bongo's hands are free. And with his last breath, he tells Bongo to light it up. And Bongo does. Much to the point where he might end it require it. And Bongo does get praise, but Izuku actually does too. Though they do scold him for doing something so dangerous, let alone him not even having a quirk, because of course they, he will tell them that, they do respect the fact that he figured out Exactly, at least how to do this, especially with him already knowing Bakugo. Bakugo does get pissed that he was technically saved by Izuku. The only thing is, he... Yeah, Izuku snaps back saying, All I did was give you a chance to free yourself and us. I save you, you save me, we are even. That's it. Even though he does know that always there the whole time limit thing, he said he could not risk it, people seeing all my in such a state, despite him being now pissed. So, all my didn't say the day in this case it is a combined effort from Bongo and Izuku, in which they do kind of have a little bro moment, you could say. But this is uh, altered when it comes to Bongo wanting to talk shit. And he's like, he's like, pretty much, yeah, you say I can't be a hero? Watch me! And Izuku's the one that walks away. All right? Though he wants to you know, do the whole you can be a hero thing and a whole speech that one of the things that Izuku really need to hear, especially as a kid, All Might can't find him. Izuku goes straight home and decides to do some training. Though he does want to go to the gym, he sees it as a... No, no, no. If I think, I'm going I'm to go uh, do some... Camping. He's doing some old school. Make, go to the woods, do some hunting, mining my, my shit. Thing is, as he's doing that, he does end up uh, getting too far into the forest to the point where, it, when it does get dark, he is completely lost. In which he does go further in to the point where he does end up slipping, falling right into a uh, Yauja mothership. When he does see a, yeah, there's no one there. Where in the hell am I? This is when he hears the clicking. He hears it all throughout it. The damn place. He's wondering, wait, what is that noise? Is that... He, of course, doesn't understand Yaojo. He doesn't. All he knows that could be an alarm clock or something. This is what he actually does make it to the console. Him accidentally turning it on. And he sees a whole heap of bodies. Him wondering 
is this a movie set or something? <laughs> it's telling you know this is way no that looks a little bit too lifelike. Him being curious enough to uh, poke it. Seeing he's like, no, that's real. He's like, still being himself. He is scared of this. And of course, he will try his best to get the hell out of there. <laughs> but in his uh, failed attempts, he does actually open some files on the other themselves. And Sadly, he still can't understand a damn thing. But luckily, this one has videos as well as pictures. You can actually see how they are not really just hunters, but they are some real menaces when it comes to whatever they decide to hunt. Seeing things from... Huh, Dinosaurs to even having uh, enforcers to go up against other Yauja. But seeing the Xenomorph, as well as their little uh, videos on the carnage they can inflict, as well as the whole process of them being born, Izuku is, of course, not only scared, but he is. Awesome. Seeing this the smidgen of technology that they actually utilize and see how it works, he gets more and more inspired. Not really just to watch more, see what else he can really do. It's pretty much the whole fact that he's I want to be just like that. Seeing the technology, the, <laughs> such as the combi stick, wrist blades, plasma casters, things he hasn't seen be utilized in his world. Huh. I wonder if him actually going up to one of the bodies, praying that it is dead dead, as he tries to take out Alpha, uh, the wrist blades, and you know, the computer gauntlets. Only problem is, those things are practically grafted to the poor predators, and they don't come off. I'm actually wondering why. Which gives him the idea of, well, let me try to learn. I'll speak Yauja. Let me learn how to read, write, speak it. Which though may be a bit of a challenge. So he tries to make a little cleaning camp out of it. Though he does have to go home, once he remembers where the mothership is, and hopefully doesn't alert anyone else to its presence. By Peachy. Hopefully. But he still has to leave. I'm trying to map out. Okay, let's see. I'm here. Okay, home's that way. Him actually thinking, Wait, why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'm actually slapping himself, Lee. I can't believe I got lost for nothing. So his camping trip is cut short. You go wondering why is he just like, I decide to start tomorrow. When he goes back, he decides to start his little lessons. And this is where he actually does find a very useful file. Which, luckily for him, it is a bit of a translation device. 
all he has to do is speak in whatever language he's speaking, and it comes out as Yaoja. Don't leave this, he does learn the alphabets as well as numbers that they use. Thing is, it's a hard language for him to really pick up on. Slowly but surely, he does end up learning, but it is taking him at least three months to be able to really string along a sentence together, let alone something that the Yaojas would actually say. So, if anything, he, he's like, okay, so maybe now I can really understand as he goes back to the beginning of the files that he first opened. Being able to pick out each one that he might actually want to utilize. The first one he picks on is their uh, younger years. Them as pups. Seeing how they are trained as kids. Considering Izuku has not a lick of formal training. Yeah, he has to start from the beginning. Good thing he's a fast learner, kind of. And this is a... Two more months go by. So five months in. Izuku's physique is already different. He ain't no bodybuilder. But he ain't that string being from the beginning of the anime either. He's nice and lean. And Ingo does notice the difference. She compliments him, saying how happy she uh, is to see that he's uh, not sad about not having a quirk. He's a good old ready. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sad about having a quirk, but you do not have to keep bringing it up. Her still showing some concerns that, are you sure you still want to be a hero? Of course. Izuku says, yes, he still wants to do that. So, Ego, trying to be a supportive mom she is, like, uh, I can work out with you. Izuku instantly say no. Almost hurting Ego's feelings. Him having to, like, okay, okay, uh, why would you explain, uh, it's a secret training in which, uh, I have to keep my uh, campsite and everything secret. I can't let no one know about it at all. <laughs> Ego, of course, she is very skeptical. Well, okay. I sure say no cult. Izuku remembering the whole honor code and everything. So he's a little skeptical himself. But... Of course not. Heck, I'm, right now I'm the only one participating in the training. Are you sure you don't want me to be there at least for moral support? No. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, Mom, no. I, I don't want you there at all. Inko, of course, taking this the wrong way. Izuku having no choice but to explain. He didn't mean it in any way, negative, shape, or form. He's just, uh, this is something I have to do myself. So, he goes back, back to the Marship and continues his training. The thing is, this being a mothership, these fuckers are massive. This this is a base for clans, which could have countless members. It has dropships, it has as well as scout ships, all of that. Izuku can't access any of it, because every time he tries, it sees him as not a clan member, let alone not blooded. He's tried this several times. Which, it's very... He's noticing it 
the AI seems to be very, very adamant. Is like, stay out of this. But he's a good, very stubborn. So he continues to try over and over and over again until it finally decides to. Look, let me scan you completely. As soon as it does, it does notice the dead Yaojas. And it notices them as clan members. So, as far as I can tell, all the clan members are dead. As far as that initial scan. When it says that the clan has pretty much been wiped out, and Izuku is the only one there, it considers him as a threat. Especially knowing that, oh yeah, you're not Yaoja. So, what does it do? It initiates a self destruct. Destroying the ship and everything. Unless. There is either a new clan established, or Izuku can, uh, at the very least, be considered a Yaoja. He only sees one way that's truly possible. As he actually does end up ripping up parts of Yaoja's and with a handy dandy med kit that they always have equipped for some reason, he injects himself with Yaoja blood. So when he does it, he throw up to the damn AI computer to see if he can unlock anything. See. Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, you're a Yaoja, so. Eh. No self destruct. Good. But, unfortunately for Izuku, the blood he did use was from an unblooded Yaoja. Yaoja hasn't even really killed anything. So, Izuku still can't use any of the other real facilities. So, of course, he has to do some research. Him learning that, oh, that's right. I have to kill something first. Uh, but then it's like, wait, was this about Ryan Passion? A xenomorph? I have to kill a xenomorph and then mark myself oh oh no oh no 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 wait and I also oh huh. him realizing the danger like, I'm not even really fully equipped here. And let alone have anyone to actually uh, supervise and grant me this title of blooded. So Isaku goes on to the computer trying to find uh, some way that he can actually do this. Which there is a way for him to unlock the other facilities as well as become bloody and do the whole thing. Though he does still have to kill Xenomorph. It's the fact that he has to establish a whole new clan. And that usually takes a very long time for a regular Yaoja to accomplish. But first, he still has to be blooded. Luckily, this is when he does come across something he failed to notice before. An instruction manual to the AI. 
It tells him that, yeah, once you finish your training, in which I'll be the one to, for, just know, oversee you. I'll pick when you're actually ready to hunt down the Xenomorph. Really? Yes. No. Oh, 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 all right, cool. Great. Wait, I still have to kill it? Yes, you do. And mark yourself. But while you're doing that, you could think of a new name for your clan. Oh. Wait, but how did you become a clan leader? Do you really want to know? Yeah, sure, sure. How hard can it be? Oh, <laughs> poor choice of words. You're going to have to clean out a hive. I'm going to do what? Clear out a hive of what? Xenomorphs. And kill the queen and, you know, bring back its head as a trophy. Yeah. You're joking. Yep. Please tell me you're joking. I am not programmed to do that. Isugu, right now, wants to crap himself. As if killing a xenomorph wasn't far enough, he actually has to kill a queen, let alone wipe out a hive of them. So, yeah, Isugu is, of course, very concerned. I have to bet you he still has to. Get training before he can actually take on a Xenomorph. But luckily, it is a lot easier with the AI to actually guide him instead of just pester him and halt his uh, exploration. First things first, Izuku has to get suited up. Since there is quite the difference between human and Yaoja frames, Izuku actually has to make his own, which is of course very difficult for a beginner. Him being very upset to the point where the AI could just find an armor somewhere, somehow. What? Yeah. Wait, how do I... Hmm. I can just send a distress signal. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no need for that. Why not? Because I'm not a Yaoja. What? Oops. Wait. What? Ah, <laughs> I, I mean. Uh, It'd be good to find some other way, possibly. The AI being, being able to want to be a little uh, ass this time. We want another scanning Zuku. Seeing that it's weird that you said that because hmm, you seem to have some human DNA, but don't worry, it seems as though your Yaoju blood is starting to take over. What? Oh, yes. One thing for certain, our blood as Yaoja, or at least in this case, yours and these four clan members, is quite potent. It has a habit of uh, wanting to overcome obstacles. And yeah, human DNA is quite the obstacle. Sadly, it seems as though your Yaja blood is pretty much trying, it's getting diluted from 
fighting off the weaker human DNA. What? what? Sorry. Seems though you're going to need some more <laughs> Yauja DNA. Otherwise, you are nothing more than just a regular old human. Is you looking back at all the corpses that are still there? Okay. Is there a way? To... Well, looking for you. We uh, we do have a hybridization station. A what? Hybridization. You see, a long time ago, there will we as a species, the hated the th thought, the very idea of merging our DNA with other creatures. Yeah, saw them as lesser than us, especially considering we would hunt them. But then we decided, heck, there are some genetic structures as well as hmm, talents that can be unlocked and integrated into Yaja DNA. Really? Yeah, things like this. It's kind of like gene splicing. Hmm. Though, yes, it could help you quite a bit. Chances are... Hmm. Uh, it could be very mm, hazardous, considering the amount of the other DNA you would need. Hmm. Really? Like, well, what could happen? It really, it depends on the traits you you want. Huh? Oh yes, we can isolate the certain traits that we. You, uh, you desire and implement them to your DNA. And since it is still, you know, Yauja DNA, it won't be overpowered or overwritten by your seemingly astonishingly human like genome. Huh. That's very interesting. Of course. The Yajra are known for being very adaptable. Heck, even when one of us, the Yajra died, they just learn from the mistake of the one that died. Huh. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh, that could be very helpful. Where's the med bay? Or do I have to be blooded before I can go there? Yeah. Don't be ridiculous. If anything, just grab some good old Yauja DNA. Preferably from the spinal cord. What? You know, just rip out the skull with the spine. Whole cord you're still attached. And just take it to the med bay. We'll do the whole gene extraction where you uh, pick out your most requested traits. And then we'll uh, put those in you. You're, you're serious? Oh, yes, of course. This is uh, the way. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh no, you're really serious. Yep. So go ahead, rip out them skulls, boy. <laughs> I really have. See that, or else you can risk being uh, 
weak little human. Is it hearing that? It's just like, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't want that. Not at all. No, no, can't, can't do it. So yeah, he's a good. Not being strong enough to actually rip out the skull and spine, he has no choice but to actually use one of their daggers. This being Izuku's first real butchering is very sloppy and very messy to the point where Izuku throws up quite a lot. Ugh, luckily, we just need the other blood. He just need the syringe. We go to the med bay with at least three Yaoja <laughs> spinal cords. He does pick out certain traits that he would require. Mainly the muscle mass, bone structure, things like that. He does make it so he doesn't have the whole mandibles thing because heck he already is known as a quarterless kid it'll be too suspicious can't really uh, risk the whole exposure of the Yaoja god knows how that could turn out this whole process takes around let's say two days once Izuku is fully integrated the other DNA to his own system, he's of course taller. His muscle structure is a bit different. He feels that his bones are denser. He sees that his skin, though still a serene tint, he has noticed that it does look more sturdy. He actually tried to see, okay, see how much stronger I've gotten in such a short amount of time. And he punches a dent into the wall. And he's impressed, especially considering he wasn't really trying, let alone he does not feel pain at all. Yeah, he's like, good, finally. Yeah, it's not your. Seeming more, more and more like a Yaoja. There. Great. Now, let's see. Now that's done. I say you're just about ready for your Xenomorph hunt. Really? Oh, yeah, you just need your armor and weapons. Huh. But I still wait. Can I? Him trying to suit up. The only thing is, yeah, it's still too big for him. So okay, looks like he still need the final armor. And Izuku has himself a bit of a dilemma. He's learned how to hunt like the predators, yeah. He's learned how to fight like them, live like them, so to speak. Only thing is, the whole secret technology and everything, aliens being real, yeah, that's, that's not something he can just re-learn out to the world. So if he truly needs someone to make this armor for him, someone but he can trust, he would tell Inko it's the only thing is she would pass out and she would not be good at keeping a secret like this. So Izuku has no choice but to find someone that he could potentially trust with this. And it just so happens, he does, and I mean, said person. 
Of course, it's May House May. It, it, it would be ridiculous if it would be Melissa Shield or May House and May. And May's it was one of the only ones that will actually like, oh, okay, cool. No problem. Only thing is, when May does get to see the armor Izuku wants her to make him, she's already suspicious, like, okay, this stuff is interesting. Where'd you get it? A secret. Okay, fine. I'll make this armor for you, but you wanted to give me more samples. Izuku's already suspicious, but no one, never mind, forget it. Just walking away, but May's like, okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, man, so serious. But if anything, I do want to know more about this armor and this, let alone the material. Because it's going to be hard for me to actually make you something that fits you if I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> Okay, I allow you to know my little secret. Can you promise me not to tell anybody? I do mean anybody. You have my word. He's a good taking her to the mothership. Upon her seeing the corpses, she's like, oh, what is this uh, a haunted house or something? Her realizing that they're real, she freaks out, but instantly snaps out of it. Okay. Okay, what about the technology? Uh, uh, wow, that's fast. Either way. Uh, AI, uh, how do we... Uh, what, are you crazy? Uh, can't bring a human up in here? <laughs> What? Yeah, wait. Uh, you know, I could potentially show her how to do it. Wait, you could have taught me how to do it? Oh. No. I just wasted my time and those all my secret. You could have taught me how to do Hey, you need a skilled craftsman. Do I, do I really? Uh, yes. I mean, down the line, you could learn how to modify your own equipment, but right now, you need someone to be able to whip that up for you. And as much as I would like to, a human is not allowed. Even though you do seem to have a suspiciously a large amount of human DNA in you, I still can't allow her. What well, if she proves herself, or she takes the hybridization process? The what? Eh, it's just a thing that will allow you to, you know. No, I don't. Please, explain. Eh, quick explanation later. May is always like, Are you crazy? Eh, I'm playing it by ear. So, what about it? You know what? Bye. If you see her as a worthy potential clan member, 
and she willingly accepts the hybridization process. Very well. We can do that. May? She's like, do I really have to do you want in on this technology? Yes, I do. And more more days pass by, and May is obviously taller, as well as more muscular than she would normally be. You heard voices a bit deeper. Her wondering, okay, take me to my workshop. And upon learn, learning how to actually utilize the Yaja's methods of craftsmanship, as well as peeking at the potential, especially with the plasma weapons, May is going crazy over the beautiful opportunities that she's been given her jumping up to Izuku's arms and thanking him profusely. And though Izuku is a bit annoyed, May is the only other female besides, I guess, Mitsuki that Izuku has ever really had any contact contact with. And of course, he is very embarrassed. Yeah, I want to be a smart ass. Ask him that. His mate, him, instantly saying, Hell no. Especially hearing May's feelings to an extent. <sighs> okay, now that that whole fiasco is done, can we please carry on to armor? Oh, yeah, sure. After. Say, what? Please. After what? <laughs> of course, she needs to be trained. What? Oh, yes, she's going to be part of your clan, especially as your armor. She has to be trained as well. <laughs> what? Uh, don't worry. She'll learn faster than you. What? Oh, yes. You had barely any Yasha DNA before you went out under your training. And then you start, you notice how you got better a lot faster when it came to your uh, learning after you undergo humanization. Huh. Actually, yeah, I have noticed that. How? The Yaoja are very good at that. Adapting. <laughs> it's very scary, actually. So, May does go under the whole training process, especially learn the rituals, the code, and everything. Her realizing that this is a portion of what Izuku had to go through, her having more respect for him, especially considering he did all this without the buff of Ore ha having a substantial amount of Yaja DNA. So, now that's done. She finally gets around to making his armor. Thing is, once it's done, he does know if there's a different, a different, more slimmer set. Of course, she asks about it. May says, yeah, I'm going on the Xenomorph hunt with you. Huh? Yeah, of course. But you're serious? Yeah. Really? Of course, why Why wouldn't I? The clan members. Uh, you're, you're not gonna back down from this, are you? No, of course not. Heck, I've done some research when it 
those jerks. I don't know what kind of acid blood. The fact that they're able to use their tails as weapons, as well as all around tools. It, the inner mouth. The fact that there's a carapace, you know, exoskeleton. Is immune to the very acid blood that courses through its veins. That is so interesting. And besides, it can make more armor from that. Oh. Oh dear. What have I done? Fold my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities. That is what you have done. And for that, I thank you wholeheartedly. Um, oh, oh, great. Uh, so what's next? Hmm. Well, we do have some xenomorphs in cryo. What? Oh, yes. I mean, each... Scout ship it does have, uh, you know, storage f full of xenomorph eggs ready to be used. Not to mention, there's a queen aboard. What? Oh, did I not mention that? No! Well, maybe you should have stayed more. Instead of worrying about your training as much, you should learn more about our ways. I'd kill you, but you're an AI, so that would be very difficult to do. But boy, would make you a worthy prey. Now you're getting this, the hang of it. Okay, whatever. Let's just move along with this, okay? So, um... Xenomorphs, how how many do we have to kill? Oh, just one. Really? Yes, but you're going to put it in a location in which you, you know, not here. Wait, 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 what do you mean? Think of it like this. Would you rather have it escape beyond the hunting ground in which it can hurt someone else? Good point. So, is there a place where we could let it go free to a point where it does have at least some rain over? Yes, actually. But there's something else you're going to have to do. What? Considering that this will be your... For your Right, a passage, you will have to have a more limited arsenal. How limited? No plasma casters until you find them. What? You'll be cheating. Okay, what can we use? Well, let's see. Ceremonial daggers, wrist blades, neck gun, combi stick. Anything else? Oh, self-destruct device. You know, the gauntlets. Uh, oh, fire mask. I mean, you're gonna need one of those. Oh, okay. Good to know. Wait, what's the... Wait, the self-destruct device? Oh, yes. Didn't you read it? Did you read it in the manual? <sighs> Why would we? Oh, so humans and don't uh, acquire our technology unless we deem them worthy. Really? Yes, of course. Do you, you can't imagine the amount of mayhem humans could inflict with Yaja technology. I mean, seriously, we fight each other just for resources or whatever. Could you imagine the technology 
in their hands? Good point. Good point. Yeah, very, very good point. Ugh, humans cannot be trusted with such advanced technology. <laughs> Either way. Yes. You're going to hunt down your plasma casters. So, if anything, you're going to be mainly using melee weapons. Ugh. Well, at the very least, it's acid resistant. Nope. Huh? Oh, yeah. Nothing is acid resistant except for the ceremonial dagger. It's yes. Yeah. So you're saying uh, what I'm gonna. Yep. Oh yeah, not to mention for you to pass not only would you have to mark yourself, you have to kill Xenomorph on your own. You're serious. Uh -huh. You're not joking at all. Yeah. In fact, you two will be split up. Luckily, it's not a truly active See him see more hive like it would normally be. Huh. So this is gonna suck. As long as you don't die. I think it'll be considered a win. Considering that it's not a full on hive esque situation, you won't have to worry about the face huggers. Goody! Thank you! Thank you for... <sighs> oh man, what am I doing? Okay. Fine. May. Uh, we, we're going to suit up and... What about you? Can you send them to the place and... Then send our plasma casters after them. Of course. Let's see. Considering this is perfect place. Huh. I the heck, we've used this place before. Bonus! Huh? Hey, don't worry. If anything, it will be difficult for you to actually navigate. So, I will give you the map of the whole terrain. Great! And yeah, we'll give the Xenomorph, what, a week to get more comfortable to the surroundings before we begin the hunt? Okay. And before then, you two can get more acquainted with your gear. And all I can say is good luck. First things first, Izuku and May make it so when it comes to the whole gauntlets being grafted into their skin, i.e. unremovable, without death or being severed, yeah, May... Fix that, per se. She may as well it is removable. The only thing is, to make sure they don't lose it, it has these, uh, it has, uh, needles that stab right into their skin and integrates with their body. It hurts like hell, especially Izuku. Being... Not the biggest fan of needles. So you can imagine this is not turning out to be such a fun experience already. Then get, having to get used to the pain of that. Eh. Yeah. Is just going to use that as motivation not to die? Considering the horrible death that could await them 
if the xenomorphs get their way. When it comes to arming the explosives, he is. Does it seem to do this? But May reminds him, like, no, you, you're, you're going to have to do that. You're, you're going to have no choice but to set the bomb just in case. Because there is no guarantee that we are going to win. Yes, we got all this cool technology. Yes, we have our training. But at the end of the day, as it may work, guaranteed a victory. You see, who's shocked to hear that May is surprisingly okay with the thought of, oh yeah, I know we could die. Big deal. To Warrihiko, questions her sanity. As I'm sure everyone else would too. Once they begin their hunt, they do split up. Izuku using his biomass to hopefully find some form of tracking these things. Luckily, he does it. She finds some leavings of the xenomorph. At least something that it's had contact with. And luckily, he is able to integrate this mysterious fluid. And with his bio mask, giving him an advantage to a point where he can actually track it. Even though they do have the map to the hunting ground, it is quite difficult for them to actually traverse it. Even with the whole night vision thing that they do again from the bio masks. Because of the thermal vision, eh, not much help. But with this new feature, thanks to the fluid that he's really extracted, he is able to find his relatively quickly. Only thing is, this thing is massive. Let's just say he's around twenty-five uh, percent bigger than Izuku. So you can say he's uh, okay. I regret so many decisions, him getting swatted away by it, but then him having to muster up his courage to actually face it because at the end of the day, one of them's gonna die at least. Is either him or is he a morph? And I'm pretty sure he'd rather live. Meanwhile, with May, she's pretty much focused on finding her guns. Luckily, she did actually find a way to trace them thanks to the very unique signature that comes from all the Yaja plasma weapons. Her actually finding the plasma casters for finding her xenomorph. So, she straps up. And he's ready to go hunting. Izuku, sadly, he is uh, in a melee fight with his. His fight takes at least 20 minutes. While Mei, she pretty much one shots her Xenomorph got the hand. As well as. Uh, she has pretty much the whole carcass. Izuku. He pretty much has to trick his more into letting his guard down before he slices his throat. Only thing is, it was on top of him and he has no choice but to roll over and take off his armor. Luckily, there are no face huggers, or else he would have made a grave mistake there. Once they do ride back in the beginning of the hunting ground, uh, sorry. Congratulations! Now you're blooded. Oh, wait. What? 
What? What? What? What? What? What's wrong now? Since you're making a new clan, you are going to have to clear out a hive. What? Luckily, you're blooded. You just don't have a clan symbol yet. I'm sorry. Well, don't worry about it. If I think you can worry about becoming a clan leader later on in life. Really? <laughs> well, no need to worry. And the only thing is, if you're gonna, you're gonna need a lot more training, especially if you're gonna take on that kind of challenge. I'm well aware. Izuku wanting to destroy the AI even more. Maybe she's just high fiving him, trying to boost his mood. But this is when he realizes after so long, after all the training, we have the interest of Sam. Morrow. And that will be the end of that. Oh, this is going to be fun.